Now 38 studios inside the scandal. Kurt Schilling is responding to a renewed call for him to testify at the State House. On Tuesday, the House Oversight Committee voted to resend a subpoena to the founder of the failed video game company. The former Red Sox star took to his blog to respond. Highway to News reporter Susan Campbell joins us now live in the newsroom with more. When we printed it out, that blog post was six pages long. In it, Schilling said there was no way he was going to testify while a civil suit is still pending. Kurt Schilling once again telling taxpayers he will not testify in front of the Rhode Island House Oversight Committee regarding the controversial $75 million 38 Studios deal. The former Red Sox ace took to his blog yesterday to make the promise, writing, There is not a person on this planet with even a smidgen of knowledge of the law who would say anything but, hell no, he shouldn't testify while there is a bogus and incredibly wasteful civil suit still hanging around. Schilling goes on to write, The day that crap disappears, Appears, I'll sit down on Rhode Island radio and answer every single question asked. There are parts of this that are disappointing, humiliating, insulting. But on my behalf, there is not one ounce of illegal in anything I ever did or said, ever. House Speaker Nicholas Mattiello signed subpoenas Tuesday night calling for testimony from Providence attorney Michael Corso and former Representative Stephen Costantino. Costantino's lawyer says Costantino is willing to testify without the need for a subpoena. As we've reported, court documents unsealed in September revealed Costantino was credited with the idea of adding $75 million to the program that authorized the 38 Studios loan. We requested an interview with Costantino today. He has not responded to us. Live in the newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.